In this video, I'll be going over estimate decimal division, also referred to as estimate decimal quotients. So let's dive right into the first example. 31.2 divided by 5.22. And when we are estimating a decimal division, we want to first look at 5.22. We would round this number to the nearest whole number. So 5, we will look at the number to the right. And anything 4 or less, we let it rest. 5 or more, raise the score. 2, we will let it rest. So this becomes 0. So what we have here is 5. So rounding to the nearest whole number for the dividend, we will have 5. Now, how do we round? The dividend here. We have 31.2. However, to get the actual whole number as the answer means that this number, the dividend, dividing by 5 will need to become a whole number because we are doing an estimate. So for 31.2, what number closest to 31.2 would it be? When we divide by 5, we become a whole number. So in our mind, we could think of it like 30 divided by 5 is 6, or 35, because 35 divided by 5 would be 7. These are the two numbers that we can replace 31.2 with. And the closest one would be 30, because 31.2 is only 1.2 more than 30, uh, 35 would be 3.8 more than 31.2. So in this case, we will put 30. So the number that we're looking for would be compatible numbers. And compatible numbers means that, that the dividend dividing by the divisor would become a whole number. So 30 divided by 5 is exactly 6. So the approximation is 6. And this symbol here means that it's an approximation. So the tip here is we want to round divisor first. Now let's try another one. 198.4 divided by 9.52. Okay, so again, we're going to look at the divisor. 9.52, rounding to the nearest whole number. 9 will become 10, and 5 and 2 will turn to 0, so we just have a whole number of 10. And now, we're going to look for the number closest for the dividend, where we can get a whole number as the answer. So what number? Should we turn 198.42? So I can see 190 as a possible answer because we are dividing by 10. So I know 190 divided by 10 would be 19. Or we could go up to 200 and divide by 10 would be 20. Now, which one is closest to 198.4? And just by looking at it, I can see 200 is only about 1.6 more than 198.4, whereas 190 would be 8.4 less than 198.4. So I would pick 200 in this case. And now we have compatible numbers of 200 divided by 10, and that equals 20. And so our approximation is 20. And hopefully this is clear to you. So looking at divisor of 4.8, 8 would be 5 or more, and when we raise the score, so we end with a divisor of 5. Now we have 42.52 as a dividend. 
and we want a number where it's closest that we can divide by 5 as compatible numbers. So we'll look at this and see that with the divisor of 5, we could use 40 because 40 divided by 5 is 8. And a number higher than 42.52 of 45, if we divide that by 5, will become 9. So which of them is closer? For this example, I'm going to draw out a number line as we have 40 and 45 and we have 42.52 in between. Which one is closer? Here or here? So I can see if I was to go with 45, this distance would be 2.48 more. Whereas if I go with 40, it would be 2.52 less. So this one is very, very close. And sometimes when you have something very close, you could put both values in it. And so, we can do 40 divided by 5, which equals 8. And then we have 45 divided by 5 equals 9. And the approximate value we would put 8 or 9, like so. If you put 8 or if you put 9, those are also acceptable. And now we're going to go through one more example before we get to the quiz problem. So I'll put this in the tip section. If compatible numbers are close, you may place more than one answer. So these are the two tips. And now we're going to get to the last example before the quiz problem. 11.62 divided by 3.12. So here we're going to round the divisor. This will become 3. Okay, and looking at this number, if we were to round the 11 to 12, we would have 12. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. So this could work. Now, what about if we go down? So if you go down, it would be 12 minus 3 because of the divisor would become 9. So this one is simple. We can tell that 12 is much closer to 11.62 than 9 would be to 11.62. So we're going to place 12 in here and answer will be 4. And the approximate is 4. Now we're going to get to the quiz problem to see if you master this lesson. And here is the question. Okay, and feel free to pause the video while you work on this and play the video when you are ready to see the answer. I will be back in about 10 seconds. Okay, I'm back. So hopefully you worked on the divisor rounding to seven. And with the dividend, you have the choice of 49 or 42. And 49 is the closest, and the answer should be 7. So the approximation is 7. And if you've gotten 7 as the answer, great job, you've mastered this lesson. And if you didn't, please go back to the previous four examples and see 
and see the area where you've made the mistake. And you can always come back to this quiz problem again and try it again. So to estimate decimal divisions, we want to make sure that we round the divisor to the nearest whole number and then try to find a compatible number in the dividend where we can divide by the divisor would become a whole number. And there are also possibility of two answers. If the dividend is really close, you can pick two dividends and get the answer one or the other. Now we also have a video on dividing decimal by decimal. And in that video, we're actually getting the exact answer rather than the approximation. And that video will be available at the end of this clip. Hopefully this video is helpful to you. And thank you for watching.